Hey guys, welcome to our channel once again. Now, as I earlier promised in a video that I did about two or three weeks ago, when Canada announces a permanent opportunity for everyone who are into the caregiver's profession, such that uh, they stated that the prior uh, caregiver's opportunity that was temporarily released will be coming and will be coming to an end by the end of this month, and because they value the caregivers' professions in Canada, and in order to give the Canadian families better life, better professions, better care in the caregivers' opportunity, they have now decided to make permanent the caregivers' program in Canada. And that is why they have announced that uh, the caregivers' opportunity will become a permanent opportunity for everyone who are into these professions to become a permanent resident in Canada. So which means there is a PR on arrival for everyone who meets the eligibility criteria for this new program that was recently announced by the uh, Department of Immigration, Refugee and Citizenship in Canada. So, and of course, you need to watch that video if you want to catch up with the update, but I'm going to be trying as much as possible to summarize that video and before I even go into that, so the reason, the purpose of this video today is to share with you about 10 companies in Canada that are currently recruiting the caregivers opportunity or they are currently recruiting caregivers position into Canada. So, which means as one of the criteria for this new permanent residence opportunity that was recently announced for caregivers is that you must have secured a job in Canada. So that is why I want to share with you about 10 companies that are actively recruiting in Canada so that you can follow up with them. I mean, link up with them on their social media, register on their platform and try as much as possible to send your CV or apply for any open position with them. So that if you are lucky, if you are able to secure one of these positions in Canada, you will be eligible to apply for these caregivers opportunities that promise a PR on arrival. And according to them, this new permanent residence opportunity will be coming to life by the end of this month when the temporary one that was recently announced will be coming to an end. So which means you need to be getting all the necessary documents ready and available. And I also need to say that I will not be dropping the, uh, the, the website of each of this company on the video description because, and of course you might be wondering why, the reason is because of legal, purposes, so which means you need to watch this video to the end because I will only be providing you the uh, website, you, I will only be providing, I will only be taking you to the website of each of these companies so that you can, of course, either write it down directly from the video and do all the necessary things that you need to do by following up with them and every other information that you need to gather directly from the website, so which means you need to watch the video to the end. So, we are trying as much as possible to avoid being sued by each of these companies because some of them uh, state that uh, we will be violating privacy of their website development if we share uh, if we share them without authorizations, among other things. So that is why I'll be taking you directly to their website on the video so that I can show to you all the open positions on the caregivers position. And I also need to quickly say, say, say this, that... Uh, uh, on the prior video, some people were asking some questions regarding what types of IELTS uh, is eligible for this program. Yes, a general IELTS that is particularly designed for the Canadian immigration opportunity. That is the one that you need to do. You know, we have the academic IELTS, general IELTS, and all of those things. So you need to do the general IELTS. That is the one that is particularly uh, eligible for everyone who wants to apply. So you have as much time as possible to practice online and do and gather all the necessary documents that is required for this caregivers program in Canada. Another person asked that, uh, uh, how do they go about equivalence or submitting equivalency of their certificate in Canada? So, of course, if you check on Google how to submit, uh, um, uh, how to submit your certificate for equivalence in Canada, there are many links that uh, the Canadian Immigration department have dropped uh, have dropped down or have provided for everyone who want to apply for equivalency of their certificate 
to uh, Canada. So, but if I'm able to get it, I will drop that on the video description. I think that one is a general one. There is no legal uh, privacy that is being violated in that regard. Now, let me quickly do a little bit of a recap regarding the last video that I talked about, which is, uh, I mean, particularly on the criteria that everyone who want to apply for this new caregiver's permanent residence opportunity to Canada needs to meet. Now, like I said in my in the previous video, that the Canadian government in their magnanimosity have tried as much as possible to relax some of the criteria that were previously uh, being used for most of the PR opportunity or PR programs that were, you know, uh, that have been previously released. And the reason is because they are trying as much as possible to attract more international applicants into the caregivers' positions in Canada, and to make sure that the families of, um, uh, uh, I mean, the, the families in Canada who particularly require these caregiving businesses get the maximum opportunity for the caregivers' uh, uh, program in Canada. So, yes, let's quickly do a little bit of a recap. The first criteria for anyone who wants to apply for this is to attain what is called a minimum of level four based on the Canadian language benchmark. Now, in Canada, they speak French and English. Those two languages are the uh, mode of communication in Canada. So that means if you are going to do uh, IELTS, you need to at least in your reading, writing, speaking, and the likes, you need to at least score a minimum of 4.0. Prior to night, they were using about 5.0 or 6.0 and above. But because they are trying to attract more people into this program, they relapse the criteria that they were previously prevalent in some of their uh, uh, programs and streams into Canada. They try to relapse it for this new one that was recently announced. So that means now you only need to attain a minimum of level four based on the Canadian language benchmark. Also, you need to hold the equivalent of a Canadian high school diploma. Now, Canadian high school diploma, so we, I mean, we are talking about uh, um, um, uh, WAHEC, if uh, that is for Nigerian, if you have WAHEC, if you have uh, GCE, if you have NEPO, if you, those are, those are, uh, uh, those, those are considered the equivalent of a Canadian high school diploma, but of course, you still need to submit it for equivalence for them to check if it is, uh, I mean, if it match or it's equivalent to the Canadian high school diploma. So if you have, or of course, if you have uh, maybe a BSc program in nursing, or if you have any certificate in nursing and any other certificate that you have relating to nursing or relating to this program, you are good to go to submit it for equivalent because it will also increase or give you an edge to be selected for this program. Also, you need to have relevant work experience in the caregiver's position. So that is very, very essential. At least minimum of one year and above, you are good to go. And lastly, the most important of the criteria is to receive an offer of a, of a, of a full-time employment in Canada. So which brought about the video that I want to do today. Because you need to receive an offer of a full-time employment position in the in the caregivers uh, uh, professions in Canada. So that is why I want to share to everyone about 10 companies who are actively recruiting for the caregivers position in Canada. So without further ado, without wasting much of our time, let's quickly check each of these companies and their open positions in the caregivers professions in Canada so that you can quickly make your applications, register with them and follow them up on social media so that by the time they release or advertise for any new position, any moment, any time from now, you will be able to apply directly with them. So let's quickly check each of these uh, companies out and the open, open positions for the caregivers profession. So the first company that I'm going to be talking about today is called Extendic Care. Extendic Care. So of course, like I said, you have to be writing each of these companies' name down and set them directly on Google. But of course, this is the website directly here. You can, you know, see them on the on the video. Now, Extendic Care. So and of course, you can also do details research about each of these company. But let's quickly check some of the open position for this. Um, these companies and you can you know 
make your application directly with them. So these are the open positions and you can sort them based on the categories that you want. Register practical nurse, clinical community supervisor, personal support worker, personal support worker, you know, these are them you can, you know, scroll down clinical nurse, clinic nurse, clinic nurse, assignment coordinator, dietary aid, personal support worker, you know, you can check each of the open positions that has been posted directly on this website for the extended care, which is particularly it's a it's a caregiving, uh, it's a caregiving website that is particularly designed to helping people to live better in Canada. So that is uh, the company. Now let's quickly check the second one. The second one is called is called Choice Home Care. Choice Home Care. And one of the things that you also need to pay attention to is just to go, to, I'm just going to go, I'm not going to be, you know, boring you because I have about 10 of them that I want to talk about. So if you want to do each of the research, you can follow them up on each of the website. They have, a, I mean, a mass of um, information to share with the potential applicants. So I'm just going to be looking forward to the open positions that they have available for everyone in the caregiving profession. So how do you join these people? So join our care team. So once you click on join our care team, it will take you directly to the open position that they have available and uh, which is, you know, recently, uh, uh, which is recently advertised. You can, you can check when it is going to, and of course you can, click to apply directly to them. So uh, yes, let's quickly, let's check another one. The, uh, the third one that I'm going to be talking about is called jtrcareservices.com. JTRC, and of course, if you, you can follow up with them, send them your CV directly on this place. If you have any call, you can message them directly. And in here, if you, if you, and in here, and in here, if you want to make any inquiry, you have any information that you want to get clarity on, you can send, send your email, send put your name, phone number, email, and your messages, you can put it there and send them directly. They will, of course, provide you all the necessary information and inquiry that you seek from them. Amiscare.ca, amiscare.ca. So me, I will be going directly to their careers. I mean, if you scroll down, you can go directly to their career session. So uh, you will be seen on in front of me here that I've immediately gone directly to their career session. That is why it is showing to you career here. Yeah, so, and uh, this is where you can easily get into their career session to be able to, and according to them, you only need to apply directly to them. And if you have any information, so you want to ask them any question, you can send them an email directly. So in here, you just need to attach your full name, your email address, and upload your resume. And if you have any information, particularly if you want to let them know the type of or open position that you are particularly interested in, you can put it on the message and submit it directly to them. And if you want to follow them on social media, you can follow them also on their social media. So so that by the time they want to advertise any position directly, you will be notified directly on your uh, social media if you are following up with them. Now, uh, the fifth company, uh, the fifth company that I'm, I think, I think is the fifth, yes, the fifth company that I'm going to be talking about is called kindredhomecare.com, kindredhomecares.com. And of course, and as I said earlier, I've also gone straight to their careers. So that is why you are seeing in here, it is showing to you their, uh, their career session. So in their career session, you can see all the current opening positions that are available, home support worker, director of corporate development, home care manager, not MB, these are the uh, cities in which home care manager for Moncton, care support, and you know, and, and etc so you can you can check with them and if you want to do extensive research and information so you want to gather more information about them you can also follow them as well on social media so that by the time they you know release other opportunities as well but these are the current opening openings that they have available you can as anyone if anyone fits into your areas of interest you can apply directly with them now let's quickly check the uh, sixth company the sixth company is called calf.org 
and, and as usual, I've gone straight into their career session as well because I'm particularly interested in the in the open positions that are available so that you'll be able to make uh, an informed decisions about each of these companies. Now, so, and this is their career session. So I've clicked on apply now. So once you click on apply now, you will be able to see each of the openings or the positions that are available for the caregivers professions. And if you want to follow them up as well on their social media, you can also contact them or follow them up on their social media so that by the time they drop any openings or, uh, or positions in the caregivers professions, you will be able to get um, uh, notifications on your own social media. Now, the sixth company or another of the company that I'm going to be talking about is called ProVita Care Management. ProVita Care Management. And I've also gone straight into their careers session. So that is why you are seeing the uh, careers that uh, it's showing careers directly to you. But let's look straight away into the current openings that they have available, healthcare aid, care supervisor, healthcare aid, you know, you see them, healthcare aid, healthcare aid, healthcare aid. So different cities in Canada, British Columbia, and all of them are full-time healthcare aid student, healthcare aid supervisor, healthcare aid assistant. I mean, there are very many. You can at, at your own personal time do extensive and for instance, they are looking for vacancy for five people, vacancy for seven people for each of the position. In fact, in on this one, healthcare aid student, they are looking for 15 people. So, I mean, you, the, the opportunities are enormous. You cannot uh, you cannot fully exhaust the opportunity. You cannot finish exhausting each of these opportunities. Now, the seventh company that I'm going to be talking about is called careers.sehc.com. And I've already gone straight into their job openings. And this are the list of the job openings and the uh, uh, opportunity, if it is a full-time or part-time. Clinical practice coach, speech language pathologist, HR project manager, human resource coordinator, community nurse, registered nurse, sign-on bonus of 3,000, Canadian registered practical nurse, community health worker, you know, and the list goes on and on. So you can also check each of this company. And like I said, it's called careers.sehc.com. So once you go into any of this website, just go to any uh, either their current job opening session or their career session for you to be able to see the current uh, open positions that are available for caregivers in Canada. Now, the eighth company that I'm going to be talk, talk, talking about today is called retirementconcept.com, retirementconcept.com. And as usual, I'm already on their career opportunity uh, position. So uh, let's quickly check the, uh, the career opportunity or the open position that they have available. And as you can see in here, uh, nurses relocations and signing board nurses, these are some of the uh, of, of, Calling all registered nurses and licensed practical nurses up to 8,300 uh, uh, Canadian dollar in bonuses for full time permanent registered nurse and licensed practical nurse at each of these villages or cities or province in Canada. So let's quickly check the, the open positions that are available. They have community relation manager, air stylist, music therapist. Licensed practical nurse, licensed practical nurse in the uh, Colombia. They have uh, they have uh, bus driver is also available. Activity aid, healthcare aid, licensed practical nurse, licensed practical. You know, if you want to click, if you want to view all, you can you know see each and every one of them. I mean, you can see the list goes on. Healthcare aid, it, the list goes on and on. So they have quite registered nurse. I mean, the list goes on and on. As you can see them, it is not only registered nurse or caregivers jobs that are being advertised on this particular website. They have as many as you would like them to, uh, to uh, as many as you will, as you, as many as you will want them. So you can check them in your own spare time. So, and I think this is the ninth position. So this is the ninth company that, uh, I'm going to be talking about. So let's quickly check the 10th company. I mean, the healthcare company in Canada. It is called Everest Home Care. 
Everest H Everest double H C dot com. Everest double H C dot com. So, but it is called Everest Home Care. So now personal support workers, and if you want to contact them, these are the job descriptions: personal care, including bathing, showering, dressing, toilet training, skin care, oral care, hair care, positioning and mobility assistant, transferring, feeding, etc. Meal planning and preparation, housekeeping as needed companionship and respite care accompanying client to appointments and you know these are the list of the job descriptions and how do you apply once you are interested in applying for any of these open positions you just click on um, apply now and then uh, let's quickly check how you can apply so this is the application form for this company and i think this is one of my favorite company in here so this is the application for employment you select your name, your details, you put your uh, address, details, you know, uh, information, which language do you speak, particularly your education, your, if you have any other certifications, your uh, uh, experience, you know, employment history and every other thing, you put it in here. And if you have any other references, then this is where you attach your resume. If you have references, your past employer that can reference for you about for your competencies, you can you know, add their information in here so that they can contact them directly. And you can put your full name here to agree to the terms and conditions. And once you are done, you, 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 you sign in here and put the date and show that you are not a robot and you submit your application. Voila, you are good to go. So this is one of my, I, I, I decided to keep the best for the last because I mean, this is one of my favorites. So this would particularly, anybody who, who took their time to watch this video to the end, they will be able to benefit from this particular company. It is called everesthomecare.com. So yes, these are the 10 companies that I intend to talk about for this video. And like I said, it's just an update. So as we see more updates that will really aid your applications by the time the uh, permanent residence opportunity fully kickstarts, by fully kickstart by the end of this month, we will try as, as possible to be bringing to you updates regarding the applications, the eligibility, further eligibility that will be announced. But the the the, the ones that have been has been announced, we you know we try as, as possible to provide to you all the necessary information that you need to know about them. And of course, if you have any questions, any clarification that you need, drop them on our comment section. And if you need a one-on-one -on -one consultation to help with your application, register using the link that is on the video description so that we can assist you with any of your, I mean, with your applications. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. It is very, very important. Like and subscribe to this channel so that by the time we share information like this, you will be the first person to get notification also share this video to your loved one and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that by the time this channel drop videos like this you will be immediately notified by the youtube management team yes thank you very very much once again for listening to this end bye bye for now